BIM is a different way to work on buildings and to do the planning on buildings. To do this work in BIM opens the possibility to work together with other people. For this together it is important to note that BIM has two aspects. The first aspect is drawing a building in a CAD system. For the CAD system we use FreeCAD. The second aspect is you need a concept of the work steps and the cooperation. And in this video I will show you how to start a BIM working area and to work with both aspects together. When you start planning a building and you want to do it in BIM, you have to analyze in the first step the project and the building. This you are doing with a piece of paper and a pencil, maybe an Excel sheet. You have to find the main objects of your project and you have to find the properties of these objects and write them down in an object profile. By this way you have to think about a grid of your building. In the second step we start to work with FreeCAD and we create a base model in a single file. In the third step we create different compartment models. Each of these models are a different planning of the building. But the basement of every model is our base model. So we have to create this at first. To create compartment models we will show in different videos. Let's start with a short introduction of the surface of FreeCAD. In the first window you see the building. You have the possibility to change the view of the building with the command bar view. In the combo view you can see on the top the objects in a tree structure. In the bottom you can see the properties of the single object. By the command bars we have six important areas. The first is a workbench. Here we can choose the tools we will work on. Normally ARCH or BIM. The second bar is the drafting tool. With these tools I can draw the basic element of a building component. The third bar is the 3D BIM tool. Here are the essential components of a building pre-modeled as objects. In cooperation with the drafting tools I build the building. The bar number 4 is the draft snap. It helps me to find snap points by drawing the objects. Command bar number 5 helps me to build new objects. When you need an object which is not pre-modeled you have to model it by yourself. And command bar number 6 we already know it helps us to change the view of the building. To build the base model I have to do three steps. In the first step I have to do the settings of the draft grid. In the second step I have to draw the axis which I already had draw on a paper. In the third step I have to model the layer for the building floors and the construction sections. When I started FreeCAP is my first step to go on edit preferences and to say on draft grip and snapping and to say how big has my grid on which I'm going to draw my building. I put eight, 80, 80 lines because that is something 8 by 8 meters. I close it and say it's OK. First thing I have to do is to exit FreeCAD and to start it new because um, otherwise the changing would not work out. Good. Now I create a new part. I give him a new name. Um, like base model garage and then the date I build it and say save. Yes, I want to have a new one and I chose the grid. Um, make it a little bit smaller and it must be now something 8 by 8 meters. Okay, that looks so far so good. 
Now I'm going to draw the axis. First I have to choose the work branch. Here I need Arch and then I'm going on axis, taking the first part of axis. He's always always drawing five axes, but I only need three. So I delete the last two and I choose the different the distance between the axes. Um, and I have to move them. Um, okay, first close, then pick one. I pick this line, I move it for two meters. And I have it on this position. So now the lines are a little bit a little bit short because my building is about eight meters. So I wake put here eight meters and on that way I have them a little bit longer. Now I can show them again. Um, now I had picked them right up and I want them on this point. Okay. So now my axes are right. I give them a new name of Epsilon. In the next step I need the X axis. I do need only three, so two I will delete. I change the distance. like I had done in my project idea. Okay, I have to turn them. First point, second point, turn them around. Move them. and make the length of 8 meter. Move them again. And I have my axis system. Now I can put them together in a axis system and then they are together. Okay, in the next step now I need my layer system. I chose um, building part. It's the first one, I called it base and I say he is an, an of null meters. I can see it in this way. Right now he is green because he's chosen. I change that and my base is by zero meters. Um, I need a second one. We called him first floor and say he is by three meters. And I need a third one. We called him roof and he's by three meter eighty. And on that way I have my layers for the building. Okay, in the last step I can look, does it looks everything like I, I would like to have it. And then I'm going to say um, save and I close FreeCut. And I have the first step, the base model.